Okay, I've got myself this uh, Uniden um, cordless phone. It's an XTEC 8355 plus 2. It's Australia's and New Zealand's number one selling brand of cordless phones. Now, this particular one has um, three handsets. Uh, it has a base that's got Bluetooth built into it. You can also use it on your phone. And apparently, it's now got this latest feature it's got core block pro as well but um, we'll have a look at those uh, shortly so it's also compatible with the NBN X deck 8355 plus 2 has advanced LCD and caller ID display with a backlit full dot matrix LCD display white backlit it has a POP ID, a caller name identification. You can have 50 caller ID memories and 200 phone book entries. It's got polyphonic ringtones and uh, it's also got caller ID 1 and 2. Um, this particular one also comes with a shoulder support uh, with a belt clip and a digital duplex speakerphone on the handset with high definition sound. With this base unit, you can actually have 12 handsets um, on one telephone socket. But in this particular one, you get three uh, intercom and announce call transfer, and you can also have handset conferencing. Um, now this particular one as well has no landline, no worries. Even without a landline, Bluetooth connectivity enables you to dial and receive mobile calls on the cordless phone for your convenience and versatility. So basically it works during blackouts, uh, dial and receive phone calls during power blackouts, unlike mostly other con um, cordless phones. It's got this dual Bluetooth mode, which I'll explain later, and I'll leave, also show you how it works. It's got a USB charging port there, USB charging port so you can charge your mobile phone. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay, so that's one of the base. Another base. Charger. These are your belt clips that you put onto the phone so you can carry it around with you. That's the phone there itself. x -Tec, latest version of x -Tec. Buttons feel all right. Doesn't have any batteries in it. No batteries. Here's the base unit. Got an answering machine, keypad, call your mobile, ham, Bluetooth, the mic's under here. What does that say?
going to find sockets in there. That's the little charge port that you can charge your mobile phone with that. And your antenna. This is also wall mountable as well. You can mount this on the wall. It's got the wall mounting bracket there. All your cables, telephone cabling. Another wall charge, another charger, telephone cables. Okay, so there's your batteries. Comes with this little clip here and looks like two AA batteries. Sorry, two AAA batteries. This little clip here. So I'm guessing you just open that. Plug that in there. Put the battery cover back on. And then that sits in there. Comes up before this. Check your base and all that sort of thing out of range but yeah we know that because we haven't got the base connected yet we've got to charge these up as well okay we'll do that so basically that's it that's the phone um, I'll set it up and uh, show you how it works like that Under here, just here, you see the bottom click that clicks into there, and then the top one just sort of slides down. So you put that in there like that. And then slide it down. Okay, something's stopping it. Okay, the cable from the back. Hit him. Put that on there. Top one there. Slides in like that. Now that's firmly in there. Now we'll now we'll plug the power in. You get a nice welcome screen, and the time is flashing. So we set the date first. Today it's the today it's the 14th. So one four. Okay, so zero three and the year is nineteen, so one nine. The time now is 11 25 a.m. Okay, so now you've got it there at the top there, it's got the time and the date, and the 14th of the 3rd, and it comes up with the base. So that's the base unit. We'll just grab a phone and put a phone in. Peel this off. And you can see here that the time is already set up on the phone. The date as well. This is number headset number two. And we've got a very strong signal there as well. So we'll put that on there like that, and that's charging.
you see the red light come on saying that it's charging. Now once you've got that connected to the telephone line, you need to press the home flash button and see you should get a dial tone. Okay, you might not hear that because it's not on speaker. We'll try again. Put that on speaker, you can see. It. And you can hear the dial tone. Now this you need then 8355 no, eight, plus 2 also has a charger built in for your smartphone. So you just plug that in here and then plug that into your smartphone. And it's charging the phone. Now that's a pretty good feature to have if you have your phone actually sitting on a on a bench or on a table um, somewhere, so you don't have to run another charging plug to the socket. This will charge it up as well. Okay, so now pairing the device. It's just a matter of clicking on the Bluetooth button there and it says to add the mobile and you can see that it's coming up and it's telling you that you need to go to XDEC 8355 and the pin number is 0000. Okay so we now we go to our phone and we select the Bluetooth and here we go for pairing new device and there you can see the x stack 358-8355 so you select that it's going to ask you for the pin number so we know the pin number in this situation is 0000 it says allow access to your contacts and call history go OK And you can see here, add mobile is uh, connected. And you can see here as well, that it's got Qbot power. That's the type of mobile that I have. And on my phone, it says it's connected to my XDEC 8355 uh, cordless phone. Okay, so when your phone is hooked up to your cordless, your mobile phone is hooked up to your cordless, it will ring also from your phone and it will also ring on your Uniden phone. As you can see, the blue light is flashing there, right? So that means I can pick up the phone as well. Okay, so now when we receive incoming calls, um, if the number is private, then you will come up and you will see a private number. Incoming call, private number. And you can call see, from private you can see here that it's coming in on the home phone number, not the mobile. Call from private caller. You can hear it say it's call from a private caller. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Okay, so now if somebody's uh, number was not private, you would then see it come up on the screen here. It would also um, read out the number to you so that you can see it. Just take note that here you'll see that it, the call was coming in on the home phone and on the one and above, if the call was coming in on a mobile, you should see it coming through on the mobile. Right, so we'll get a call going through to the mobile. incoming call from the mobile you can see here that's coming through on the mobile you'll also see here that my mobile phone is coming up saying that there's a, an 
incoming call on the mobile. So that's that handy feature there where you link it up to your mobile phone. That's pretty good. And finally, the Uniden 8355 Plus 2 comes with an optional range extender. If you've got a pretty big home and you find that the signal is not reaching up the other end of the home, just grab yourself one or two of these range extenders. Uh, what it does is it does the repeating of the um, signal from one to the other and your handsets connect between each other and then that goes back to the base um, and that gives the signal um, a very strong signal that you can make phone calls and receive phone calls um, think of it a bit like a, 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 a wireless mesh network that you can get like a zigbee wireless network works pretty much similar to that but i believe it works on a wi-fi signal so that's all for this particular uh, review so if you have any questions or any comments please leave them down below and don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell um, so that way you get notified when i bring out a new video thanks for now